That breaking news to start with. This is a live look from Air 7 in Redlands. New information is coming in this afternoon. A lot of it on a story that we've been covering. The disappearance of an elderly couple from a nudist community. Investigators say they are certain the couple is dead. The next door neighbor is under arrest. And moments ago, we learned that human remains have been recovered. Inland Empire Bureau Chief Rob McMillan is live in Redlands with the breaking details right now. Rob? Right. Well, given the condition of the house, again, that SWAT team vehicle literally tore it apart yesterday while trying to make it entry. It took several hours to make sure the structure was safe enough so investigators could go into the home to try to find those human remains. They got down underneath the home. That's when they discovered a bunker uh, at least five feet high made out of concrete, and they made a gruesome discovery. A few minutes ago, members of the Redlands Fire Department, certified in confined space operations, entered the space beneath the suspect's house and began to remove bags of evidence that was in that space. At this time, I can confirm the presence of human remains under the house. The day after, a sheriff's SWAT unit literally tore apart the home of a man suspected of murdering an elderly couple at a Redlands nudist resort. Police are still trying to find the bodies of Dan and Stephanie Menard, who went missing more than a week ago. However, investigators say they have reason to believe the bodies are somewhere inside this home after a San Bernardino County Sheriff's cadaver dog was brought to the scene this morning. The dog did alert indicating the presence of a body uh, somewhere underneath the house. But Redlands police say considering the condition of the home, it could take hours before it's safe enough to even begin looking for them. Consider that one SWAT unit actually got stuck outside the home yesterday when the ground collapsed beneath it. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department was able to pull that vehicle out a couple of hours later. Police eventually finding the suspect, Michael Sparks, late last night hiding out beneath his home. Tammy Wilkerson, who lives next door, says the whole situation is bizarre. I, I don't know. People just don't dig tunnels under their house and behind their house. How long have you known about those? T yesterday, when they told us. I had no idea. If I had known, I would have told the cops right away, yeah. hey, that guy's got tunnels. Wilkerson says she was aware of tension between Sparks and the Menards. When I first moved here, he told me how much he hated them, and he hated Dan specifically because Dan would cut the tree, trim the tree down. But others who live at this nudist resort say they've never had any problems with the suspect. Always cordial, always respectful, never aggressive, never mean, just a very sweet person. And here's another live look over the scene from Air 7 as investigators continue to go through that bunker beneath the home. Again, not really an elaborate tunnel system, just a concrete bunker where they found bags with human remains inside of them. It's not clear who those remains belong to. That will be up to the coroner to determine, but it is believed to be those of the missing elderly couple. As far as Mr. Sparks himself, Redlands police did say that as they were trying to arrest him, he actually tried to commit suicide with a rifle, but it misfired. He is not speaking with detectives at this point and has requested an attorney.